Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Wheels on TV series. Today I will be answering the question, what is Berlin Plate? In the cetacean group we have the odontocetes, all the toothed whales and dolphins, and then we have the missisets, like for example the blue whale, the bowhead whale and the grey whale, which, de which don't have teeth uh, and instead they have baleen plates. Baleen is an oral tissue made of keratin. Um, the keratin is the same protein that our nails and hair are made of. The baleen plates, they hang from the roof of the mouth of the whales um, and it resembles a moustache but inside their mouth and they use these plates to feed, so they filter the water with them. Baleen plates can vary in size, color and shape depending on the species. So you may think that the blue whale has the biggest baleen plates because they are the biggest animal on earth, but actually the bowhead whale has the biggest baleen plates in number uh, and in size. So the baleen plates of the bowhead whales can reach uh, more than 4 meters in length and they have around 60 to 60 40 baleen plates on their mouth. The shortest baleen plates belong to the grey whale uh, with around 5 to 40 centimeters in length and around 130 and 180 plates on each side. The difference on the baleen plates um, it's because the baleen whales have different feeding strategies. For example, the blue whale uh, belongs to the workhorse group uh, and the way of feeding is that they put an enormous quantity of water inside their mouth and when the water is expelled the krill gets trapped on, baleen, on the baleen plates. The bowhead whale, for instance, they feed by skimming, which means that they swim with an open mouth uh, in the water column or at the surface of the water, uh, and so they filter the water as they swim. The grey whales have also another type of feeding. Uh, they are bottom feeders, and so they filter the sediments, so they like to feed on benthic uh, animals, such as, for example, uh, planktonic uh, creatures, and also some crustaceans. So if you have questions about the marine life, just leave a comment below and stay tuned for the next Whales on TV episodes.